welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by, and of course, you got here just in time. That's right, it is Friday. That means you're just in time for another edition of Friday's Finds. This Friday's Finds is going to be chock full of cool stuff. I don't know about cool stuff. It's going to be chock full of stuff. We've got two new channel sponsors, so we're going to have a theme for this Friday's Find, and that's going to be water. And uh, it just seemed like a great idea. It's hot. Summer is here. It's going to be a today's high is forecast for 101 degrees. Not quite into. <laughs> we're into just into June, and it's 100 degrees. We're lucky. We haven't hit 100 degrees yet this year. Anyway, so the first sponsor for to, today's Friday's find is Seekway. Seekway provide you with the ultimate in aquatic footwear. They come in a variety of cool colors. This is Yappies. She said, oh, I gotta have those pink ones. I'm wearing the blue ones. They're kind of stylish with the footprint on the front there. So you kind of, when you're walking on sand, you leave those big foot kind of tracks. They actually have drainage holes in the bottom so they will dry quick and you don't have squishy feet when you're walking around. And you'll be seeing more of the Sequoia footwear on our next outing to the lake because they'll be great for when I get out on the boat. If you're going into a public shower, you certainly don't want to go in there barefoot. Sequoia would be great for that option. They're nice and grippy, so you can do, use these as boat shoes. Public swimming pools, hiking a river, any place that you're going to be getting in the water and you don't want to do it barefoot, Sequoia's got you covered. So, so be on the lookout. Pay attention and you'll see me wearing the Sequoia shoes. All right, let's talk about the next channel sponsor. And this is leading into where this video is ultimately going to end up. That's SimPure. SimPure is in the water filtration business. Now on the coach, Trudy Thunder is equipped with a 20 mic micron cartridge filter. It's under the vanity sink. And that filters all of the water in the coach. Even the fresh water coming from the tank. It's a 20 mi micron, uh, I think, paper filter. And I haven't been, you know, I haven't been too excited about that, but my incoming water is filtered through a 20 micron and then a, a one micron solid block of carbon. But I really want to have a solid block of carbon to filter the water in the, the holding tank. We have we, we always carry bottled water, and I'm getting tired of lugging these cases of water. I want to be able to drink the water out of the, the storage tank. So we're going to install a 5 micron solid block carbon filter. And if this will not fit into my onboard filter cartridge, I think it will. But Simpure also, they also have, whoop, wait a minute, I need two hands. Hold on, two hands. Just in case, the cartridge that I have in the coach does not work. Simpure has provided me with one to show you. This can actually be outfitted to, so that you can use it on any RV. All you need is a couple of water hose connections. And we may explore that on this video. And while I'm doing all of this, it's been a year and it is time to sanitize the onboard water tank. And I'm going to use the AquaShock 
two for that purpose. Uh, the last time I did it, I used this liquid chlorine that I have for the hot tub. Uh, I'm gonna try the AquaShock. They're not sponsoring this video. I just have that product. And the next, and th that's gonna be our water adventure for this video. Now while I'm at the coach, the mice got me again. Fortunately, they didn't shut me down. Uh, I had one that was, I had a blinker that went crazy. It was, you know, the inside direction was flash, 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 flash. Uh, but the, the right front blinker was real dim. So I thought the bulb was going bad and I tore the tape. You gotta take the whole grill off the front of the F550 to replace the blinker bulb. That's, a, that's not a smart design. Anyway, took the whole grill apart, found that the bulb, there was nothing wrong with the bulb, but there was a little section of wiring that had been munched on by a mouse. Ah! I was able to splice it back together. But while I'm at the coach, I'm gonna put out my one of my favorite rodent deterrents. This stuff, this stuff is great. It's pee in a gel. <laughs> it's how they get those cats to pee in that, I don't know. I don't wanna know. But I do know that that does a great job of, of getting rid of the, the, the mice, the rats. They just, they don't want, they don't wanna be anywhere near that big cat, so they go away. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a couple of these out uh, to protect our coach while we're in storage. And I have another product that's actually in the coach that I, that I had already, I've used in the past, uh, the last time we got hit by the rats. I bought a bottle of this stuff and it works really good. And we'll talk about that when I get over to the coach. So we're done here. We gotta go to the coach in the morning when it's not 101 degrees. So stay tuned. I'll be back. Good morning. Boy, it's gonna be a hot one today. Summer has arrived in Texas. We're looking at a heat index of about 105 degrees today. So I gotta, I gotta get on the ball with my projects here. Let's talk about rodent control. Since we were talking about the, the pea gel, Bobcat pea gel, it comes in these little jars. So I'm gonna place one of the little jars of uh, urine gel. I'll show you. It doesn't actually smell overwhelming. But that's what it, that's what it looks like. It's, I think it's the same kind of stuff they put in diapers. It, it's, got a, it's got a smell to it, but it's not overwhelming. It's not something you want to put inside that you don't want to put it, light's horrible. It's not something you want to put inside the coach. But here under the hood, it'll be fine. And I'm, I've got bait stations. And there, there's been very few customers visiting the bait station. But when I opened it up to check, I actually found the <laughs> one of the biggest black widow spiders I've ever seen. And she had lots of egg sacs in there. I, I broke out the torch and cooked them. The other product that I've, I've become a fan of is Grandpa Gus's Potent Rodent Repellent. Now this is actually uh, peppermint oil and cinnamon oil. Uh, apparently the, the rodents don't like that. So I've been spraying that on all four wheels while it's here in storage. And I give, I've got some little sacks, sack, sachets little bags of the same product that I've dropped down in the four corners of the engine compartment. Hopefully that'll that'll keep them little rodents at bay. That's just so frustrating. I'm gonna move the coach over to the wash station so that we can do the sanitizing on the water system. So stay tuned. I'll be right back, but we'll be over there. So I've relocated and opened the slide. Step number one in sanitizing our water tank is we gotta get all the water out of it that's in it. 
And, and for us, that is a valve right here. So we're just going to open that up. There's not, there, there's not too much water, so it won't take long. And when that's empty, we'll add the appropriate amount of sanitizer disinfectant. So one fluid ounce per 30 gallons of potable water. So we're gonna need three ounces, only three ounces of, of solution. Now while that's draining, we're gonna see about doing the filter, which is in a awkward place under there. So I'll, I'll pull that out and I'll, I'll show you once I get it out. So here's the reason why I am sanitizing. Let's go out here. So that's why you want to sanitize your water system. There's lots of organics growing in there. Hey! So this, we're actually equipped with a, a flow pure. And that's 20 micron. So we are switching over. Fortunately, I don't have to make any changes to the with the housing. I am gonna clean that out though. But that's just that's nasty. That's S E. See what came out of there. Of course, that could just be carbon from the, the the old filter. So direct replacement. So that's that's a good thing. The CTO water filter from Sim Pure is a direct replacement for your onboard flow pure water filter let me put this bag in place and it's time to put some liquid some liquid in the tanks i forgot my measuring tool so it's gotta gotta wing it Couple of glugs. That's about three. Well, uh, better safe than sorry. All right, so now we have our solution in. I'm gonna fill the tank all the way up with fresh water. So we fill it up, run water through all the lines until we, until we smell the, the cleaning agent and, and then we dump it all and refill again. So there's no point in talking to you while this is filling. I'll be back. The freshwater tank is full. It was overflowing outside. So now, oh, we gotta turn on some power. Gotta turn on the water pump. We're going to leave that run for a little bit and then I'm going to switch it into that's flushing the air out of the water filter. Speaking of water filter, we got to double check, make sure we're not leaking. So 
make sure we don't have any leaking. And now we're going to run it through there. And I'll do the shower also. And that's going to sanitize those lines. Once, once we've got the chemical in all the lines, we're going to let it sit for an hour. And then dump and refill. draining the tank getting ready to refill well we're done fresh water system has been sanitized filled and dumped and or dumped and filled and flushed and dumped and filled we're done with, with that chore it's not an unpleasant chore it's not like dealing with the, the black tank but it's still it takes a little time but that little bit of time will, will can save you some heartache down the road. And we now know that the Sim Pure line of solid block five micron filters are an, uh, a match to the onboard system. So I fortunately did not have to put a new filter housing in place. I have have an idea for that filter housing. That'll be another video down the road we've done i've done what i can to deter the rodents let's hope that doesn't arise again we've played in the water i'm gonna go play in the water some more with the water shoes today i gotta gotta pressure wash the patio but that's not rv related so you don't get to watch that hey if you found this video to be fun entertaining and informative in any way shape or form i'd be really grateful if you click on that thumbs up it helps with the the youtube algorithm whatever that is if you've not already i'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button and for those of you who have been following along thank you i am most appreciative of your time and attention and for my patrons i am grateful thank you you rock all right, y'all come back now, you hear?